Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, Northern Lion plays The Binding of Isaac After Birth Plus. We lost our last game via submission, I would say. The, it, it was a bit of a tap out, knock out, walk out sort of situation. I'm hoping today that maybe things are a little bit uh, gentler. But our randomizer has been very cruel. A lot, of, a lot of Jacob and Esau lately. A lot of tough objectives. Let's see what happens. Oh my god, it's... You could not ask for... Thank you. Thank you. Run, run home, Charlie. Run home and don't tell anyone till you don't... I think it's you don't, you don't show anyone till you get there. Anyway. Isaac, baby. Yeah. Frick, baby. Um, This is good. Regular Isaac. And we're going to the Lamb. Which means we just take the negative, which is kind of like the default path now anyway. Good stuff. Look, I don't, I don't want to give the uh, perception that, like... I never want to play as the hard characters, because that's not true at all. But, you know, there are, like, I don't know, probably close to 25 characters in the game that are not a clown fiesta. <laughs> so I'm just, I was surprised by how the, the, yeah, it, it just goes to show you how probability plays a trick on you, right? Like, I, I'm sure that the, the thing is, the randomizer is programmed mathematically aptly. I'm sure it's programmed just fine. It's one of those things where when you when you put it through Occam's razor, you gotta realize, like, to, to program the probabilities wrong is actually, like, a larger leap of logic than just getting them right because it's, you know, just the 100 divided by the number of characters that you can be in Isaac. Anyway... I, I'm I'm just doing the thing where I'm like because there's a low sample size and variance has harmed us rather than helped us. I'm like, well, something's broken. You know, if 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 you go to a roulette table, you always bet on red, and black comes up three times in a row. You're gonna be like, this roulette table. Uh, I shouldn't say you'll be like it, but you'll be more likely to be like, whoa, this roulette table is uh, is rigged specifically to harm me. So what are we doing here? Um, well, I'll tell you, a, a wise individual by the name of Cobalt Streak said that early on, you always reroll your boss room. The boss pool is much more uh, top loaded and smaller than the item pool, which means your rerolls are better served there. And I'm loving the fact that I see, uh, you know, an eddy room on the first floor with three HP. I think there's a, a realistic chance. I wouldn't suggest there's a realistic chance we're going to get, like, uh, to the, the seventh payout, but I think that there's the opportunity for it. So I think that the dream scenario for us, I mean, a, a red or a, a, a rainbow poop would be awesome, but that's just terrible damage on my part. I think uh, the, the, the pseudo dream scenario for us would be at least fight one angel statue and get to re-roll the key piece into something more prodigious, but... I really am. Uh, I hope it's shining through. I'm having a great time playing some Isaac. I've been enjoying myself. Especially now that we got all the... Ev everything done but Dead God. At some, time, uh, at some point, I should say, we're going to have to look for the things we're still missing with Dead God. But uh, I'm also very happy... I mean, I we're kind of passively looking at all times for, for the items we're missing. But... Um, I'm, I'm also pretty stoked, to be honest with you, to have a uh, headless baby here, an item that normally I don't respect all that much, but doesn't it make it... Is it only Aquarius that inherits the tear effects now, or is it... Uh, oh, well, let me guess. My controller? Sometimes Isaac just goes like, hey, we, we just... You know what I think happened there? I bet the game was like, hey, you, you've accidentally exposed an infinite loop. That means you don't take damage here. So we're gonna pause you as like a as a penalty. We're gonna be like, you don't deserve that. <laughs> Stop breaking our game. I won't go breaking your game. Okay. Now this is the the real. I know we we could have rerolled that, but I'm actually I'm happy to have gotten uh, HP so that we got a little bit more fodder on our angel deal here. I think it's all about leverage. Let's see. I don't even remember what was in our arcade. That's good. So we got four plays easily here. Uh, <laughs> phrasing, of course. That would be that's play number five. Okay, so number six is bombs. I think seven is the big play, right? 
With four bombs, I don't mind trying to fight an angel statue here. So that was five. This is six. Seven is a, a teleport to the angel deal. Um, <clears throat> I know you. That's Purgatory Trinity Shield. I have experienced Purgatory for, of, uh, before, I should say. Of course I've experienced uh, Trinity Shield. I'm, I'm going, like, loco on this one, man. What do I mean by this? Well, what a, what a dodge, by the way. Um, I'm gonna try... To say goodbye and I choke. I'm gonna try to walk away and I stumble. Though I try to hide it, it's clear. I'll be re-rolling all three pedestals in here if I don't die. You remember Macy Gray? How messed up is it that Macy Gray honestly had like one of the biggest songs of 1999, but in the modern era is definitely most well known for playing the concert in Spider-Man 1 where the Green Goblet uh, murdered like all the board members of Oscorp. Anyway, you gotta go Revelations here, man. I know we, with the body we could have played our... Uh, we could have played... <laughs> um, the uh, angels or the 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 sacrifice room more often, i.e., what we're doing right now. But still, like, I mean, this is. You gotta remember, I I have insulted revelations in the past. That was before I realized I was always taking it on like tainted lost, who already has the ability to fly. And it also, doesn't it give you, it gives you something else on top of that. Like flying the brimstone, obviously. I thought it gave you like one more effect that I've now forgotten about. Let's just be real though. This is a pretty good first floor. And that's our other big payout right there. Okay, so um, do we want to fight another angel statue? I, I don't really care for the key pieces. We're already going to get a decent chunk of angel deals. Um, just because uh, we'll probably ignore our first devil deal. I don't know, maybe we won't. But we don't care for a, uh, we don't care for a car battery. We don't really care for, like, an Omega Penny. So you know what I think we do? I think we just farm up a little bit of extra HP here. And I think we'll reroll both of those Angel statues. And we, we could honestly fairly realistically have one of the most overpowered runs you could ever ask for after the first floor. I don't think anybody out there is going like, oh, speed up, please. <laughs> like, can you can you get a move on here? This is taking forever. But but if you are, you know, I, I promise you, this is uh, it is well worth it. We got a good thing going here. Even at, at present, we can already reroll one item. That's no problem. Or one one key piece into a, a third angel item. Or, wait, a fourth angel light? I don't know how many angel items we've got at this point. We got the soul, we got revelations. Anyway, hold on. Just play it one more time. This is our other angel statue. The, the harder angel statue, I might add. I think I, I was falsely, like, under the impression that revelations is like a, um... That it is a static damage dealer. Like, I, I think I, it never really, like, cemented into my brain that Revelations also benefits from, like, the damage uh, that you have. I always thought it was just kind of like, oh, it does, like, you know, seven damage per tick or whatever. Knowing now that it takes twice as long as, you know, your normal rate Brimstone to charge, but it also does double damage, I think, based on what your damage is, I, I totally get it. It's just like a, a, a great Eve's Mascara Brimstone. So we don't play this one more time. Uh, I can't help but notice that these are not angel deals. We have verp to verp pill and gone infinite. That's the D1. Um, I mean, I want to keep the D6 for sure. I think we're stuck then. I, th I think that's just the end. That's unfortunate. D1 is, is a lot of fun. Uh, and the D6 is incredible, but I don't think we can get a battery charge for it. So I guess we're just, uh, I guess we're just moving on. It, it's hard to be disappointed about leaving the first floor with an HP upgrade, the Soul Revelations, which gives you the ability to fly, and 31 cents. 
But here I am. I'm, I'm kind of like I want to play the world's smallest violin about it. But, you know, we'll just we'll move on. <laughs> and I think, you know, it, again, it just goes to show you the, the true power of an Eddie room. Especially, like, you know, if you can get the HP to make him work early on. My God. No need to play that. Anyway, we, I, I think it's fair to say we could probably get into some banter now. Now, you might say, NL, do you have any banter? Well, yes and no. I, I'm excited, like, today is... I know, it, again, it's the, the climate of the pandemic at this point is like, uh, you know, people are scared about the... What, are we on wave, like, seven or something like that now? I was thinking about it in the shower. I was like, man, I feel old. I'm like, I'm nostalgic for the second wave. Remember when we were like, oh, no, a second wave? Look, it's a tasteless joke, and but, you know, I, I'm on your side in this one, okay? But, uh, you know, on a, on a much more micro, like, personal level, today is two weeks from my second dose. So, you know, whatever coverage is afforded by those vaccines, I'm, I'm right there. How am I going to celebrate? Pretty much doing the same thing I, I always do. Uh, I, if it doesn't rain, which it probably won't because it hasn't, like, literally hasn't rained all summer, basically. Um, I will uh, probably go to the grocery store, find something delicious to cook for dinner, and then you know see where see where the mood takes us from that point onwards. I'm not gonna celebrate. I'm not gonna go see you know Stillwater in theaters or something like that. I know, by the way, we didn't have to peep this, but I'm I'm gonna. And you know what? I think I'm gonna take this too. I think we got like the best of both worlds here. Hannah Montana. This damage has, has really come up, and uh, always love to get gimpy with the chance to still play Blood Banks, like, I'm stupid. What do you got for me in here? Nun's Habit? Nun's Habit, well worth it in my opinion. I, I kind of like Mom's Box of Trinkets too, but let's do some exploring first. So that's, uh, it, it's nice. There's not a Blood Bank in here. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Can I still return uh, Gimpy? Are we, uh, are we still within the two hour uh, window? I forgot you could shoot this son of a gun diagonally too. Um, yeah, so that's, I mean, that's exciting, uh, you know, doing my part here, and it is, you know, again, it's super, it's, there's like some whiplash emotionally that you're like, ah, I'm finally vaccinated, just as the people who got vaccinated back in, you know, like March in the United States are like, ah, we, we're gonna be overrun again, you know, but, I mean, that's just science, you know, you, you I, I would love it to be like, now that my antibodies are kicking in, it'd be like, it's over, but, you know, like I said, it's not the way it works. Aren't you, uh, aren't you regretting asking me about my banter now? I did, I will say, I did also last night when I was setting some videos. Netflix has a new show, um, and it's like, it's kind of trash reality TV. So I, I wouldn't say right out of the gates that I'm just recommending it. I wouldn't go so far as to be like, you know, I think we actually take this, believe it or not. I wouldn't go so far as to be like, oh, you gotta see this. Because, let me be honest with you, you definitely don't. 25% chance. This is gonna work, man. I told you. I told you I was gonna embarrass you at this party, Barry. Okay, we, we'll take a look. Booster pack's pretty good. I'm willing to fish for it. I mean, money, you know. We, we got it. <laughs> we like Nightlight. Uh, dude, that's incredible. Now, um, the only thing we don't really like here is Doctor's Remote. I think, like, Nightlight can get spooky for the bosses, though. I almost wonder... I, I definitely think you take Booster Pack. And the two of... So we got seven bombs. Chariot, Temperance. This is abs actually amazing. Uh, I think we're gonna re-roll both of those, believe it or not, because I'm not super convinced. I, as much as I would like to, I really don't believe we can roll uh, Revelations uh, Dr. Fetus. I, I think Dr. Fetus is a fun item, but Revelations is also a, a fun item, and I, I default to the fact that we've had Revelations much less frequently. I wouldn't mind getting the speed upgrade, um, but I think we can we can do a little better. Again, I hate to say it, the D100 is just like, it's a little too... Um, you, you can't get the double plays. Oh, maybe you can get the double plays. It shows what I know. Um, the D100 is like a little too zany, and if anything, I, I hope you'll 
afford me the uh, ability to be a little bit less zany on this one when you consider the runs that we've gone through in our very recent past, which have honestly... Can I... Can I be honest and say that they're like a little too zany like we crash the game and they're zany in like a non zany way where like magic uh magic skin just shows up all the time and you're like come on man so you gotta you gotta pick this up that's a gimme i'm hoping that on top of having like a, an incredibly powerful run here we're also gonna have the opportunity to maybe be nice to our donation machine beautiful spirit hearts thank you um you just take fortune cookie, use it, see what you get. This is the swarm. It's just a bunch of flies, right? I, I, I'm assuming they don't last forever. And it's high priestess. I, I'm gonna go like. I, I shouldn't go this deep, but I. It's it's less about getting like a blood bag, although that would be cool. Hey, you know what? I'll definitely verb that. Um. And I, nobody, by the way, is more surprised than me that we're at 14 minutes on the second floor. But we're, we're 14 minutes of the second floor on my terms, which is something that doesn't always happen. Uh, we do also have 72 cents. Also pretty sick. Um, let's just see what we got here. I think you could definitely, you know, you can't go wrong with something like that. I think we'll donate as much money as they'll allow us to. Luck upgrades are going to be nice as well. And we can get back to banter. Oh, you love it. You love to see it. Donated like 40-something cents. And, you know, we can just buy that then. We don't even have to we don't have to sweat it at all. We got a golden bomb. So the second secret room is like a, a gimme if patience holds out. Anyway, so here's where I admit I don't even remember the name of the show on Netflix. But that is not... Like, you're going to know what I'm talking about. Because whenever Netflix has an original, no matter what, they're like... You know, we're going to feed this to absolutely everybody. Even if you've only watched, like, you know, colorized World War II documentaries, they're like, do you want to see Too Hot to Handle? The show where hot people try not to f... Okay, hold on, hold on, just relax. Dog Tooth's fine. Not really a fan uh, of... of well, I mean, I, I enjoy the item Gello, but uh, I do think that it's unlikely that it's going to give us what we want here. We do have 15, uh, 12 items at the end of our second floor. Pretty solid. Uh, pre pretty standard. Pretty non-standard, really. So the show is about people who have terrible tattoos um, that they got, you know, regrettably in their lives. And then they're getting... and Because every, you know, American... It's probably not just American. Let's not be, you know, needlessly rude there. But, it, you know, every reality TV show needs, like, uh, you know, a hook. It can't just be about, like, you know, getting these tattoos covered. It has to be like a, not a competition, but it's like they came in with their, their spouse or their girlfriend or their best friend and their best friend gets to choose what the tattoo is and the person getting it covered up doesn't know what it's going to be until the big reveal at the end. But, you know, it's it's like harmless, cheesy fun. And, and honestly, I had no idea like how many people out there had regrettable tattoos. And, and I'm, I'm being sympathetic, not, not just punching down, but... It was genuinely a guy who had a tattoo that said honor. And I don't even want to read the contents of the of, of it. But I'll, I'll, I'll start. It, the poem, and it was written in like chicken scratch, right? It was honor. Get honor, stay honor. If you can't, uh, 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 honor, you know? Uh, and I was just like, man, this is... Like, so most of the regrettable tattoos that people get are like, I don't know, I got like a butterfly by my, my friend was learning how to do tattoos and I said, sure, you can use me as a canvas and he made like a skull, but you know, I'm the ombudsman for the local comptroller's office. This no longer fits my personality. But this guy I was like, you actually got like the worst tattoo I've ever seen. <laughs> It's it it's truly terrible. Hmm. I, I don't mind blood puppy, but you know, yeah, let's I don't mind going for a little bit of a reroll. We'll try to speed it up here probably. We only have to go to the lamb, right? Like this is a it's a fun run. Um I will say there I'm, I I only got like a third of the way into episode 2. There was a uh, a guy on there. Why not? 
and uh, he, he had a tattoo where he said he lost a bet. And it really makes me feel like I didn't have the same 20s experience that a lot of people did. And he said on his 21st birthday, he lost a bet. He bet his friend he couldn't drink 10 ghost pepper drinks from his local bar. If he, if he could, he would get ghost pepper Dan tattooed on his butt. So his friend drinks 10 ghost pepper drinks, and now he's got like a chili pepper and GP Dan on his butt. And I'm like, man, what are you... I We, we ran in different circles. Also, then when they were talking, like they were doing a consultation with his girlfriend about like what to cover it up with. She was like, you know, what if you just... He loves to eat healthy, so what if you just threw like another pepper on there? What if instead of one pepper, you just used a second pepper to like cover up the GP Dan part and then he just had two peppers on his butt instead and it was like, you know, because you like eating healthy and peppers are, you know, good for you, I suppose. <laughs> I'm like, I, I, I gotta finish that episode because I gotta see how this guy feels about it, getting a second pepper tattooed on his butt. It's like you wanted to cover up one pepper, now you got two. Joke's on you. I think we can just probably head down here. I don't mind. I don't have any tattoos. Um, I have thought about, you know, like maybe I, I, I'm not necessarily a tattoo guy, but I think getting a sleeve appeals to me because it seems faster and, and easier than like working out regularly. You know what I mean? Like I feel like if you're kind of, if you're, out of shape and you're a little pasty like I am right now. It's not necessarily a great look when you go to the beach. But if you've got like like the rock style tattoo where like it, it covers one of your pecs and then it goes down your shoulder and like all the way into your arm, I'm like, people will be like, oh, it's not that he's out of shape. He's just like the local enforcer for his like motorcycle gang or something like that. Plus he's bald. And he's wearing prescription sunglasses, so, you know. <laughs> don't mess with that guy. So I've thought about it. I don't know what I would get, though. I, I mean, I'm like, I don't know. I feel like the, the thing with tattoos is if you don't uh, have them or have any plans to get them, some people, and I don't even think this is the majority, but some people seem to be of the idea that you're like, um, you know, anti-tattoo. I'm really not, you know. They're... Uh, my parents have tattoos. Genuinely. Okay, this is four... This is five pills. He knows. He knows. <clears throat> and they keep getting more. Like, like every time I see my parents, they're like... Oh, you know what? That's another five pills. Uh, every time I see my parents, they're like, check it out. We got some new tattoos. And I'm like, well, they, you know, they look good. They look cool. Like, basically what I'm saying is my parents are cooler than I am. Um, but, you know, when it comes to myself, I'm like... You know, there are things that are important to me in my life, but I guess I've just, for, and again, this is a for me. I've never seen, like, the, the value in, like, getting it tattooed on my body. It's not even like, a, like my body's a temple. I don't want to, you know, besmirch its, like, purity or something like that, because I'm mistreating it like crazy, man. You know how many corn-based snacks I could eat if I put my mind to it? It's really just this, like, yeah, you know, the day that my daughter was born was special to me. Do I really need to go to the tattoo parlor and be like, hey, can you tattoo this on me when I could just instead, I don't know, like, put a reminder in my phone or something like that? I don't know. Maybe it'll happen at some point, though. Any Anything could happen. Mm, I think I'm just going to leave again. It might seem uh, like like cowardice you know like we, we definitely could milk this floor a little bit more you do i would say for, for me personally at least why not in uh in isaac you got to recognize that you know at some point you just reach a level where you're like we're we're pretty good <laughs> i think i'm just gonna uh move on here i mean we already are like way behind schedule which is fine for the record but we're already way behind schedule. Uh, if we if we had any desire to go to Boss Rush or anything like that, hold on. I got a I got an incoming hot message. Okay, it's good. It's a good message. I forgot I could fly. Look at this. 
anyway, just uh, I, not a show I would recommend. You know, I, it's not on the same level as like The Sopranos. And clearly, like I, I think it's one of those shows where it was. Uh, this is not a wise idea. Never mind. It totally worked. Um, where like it was probably developed like you know by a Hollywood consulting company and then like pitched and sold as like a as a package. It's not like from the brainchild, of the, from the goofy minds that brought you the Shawshank Redemption. You know, this is like a cynical, like, what if uh, people with bad tattoos uh, got new tattoos, but also there was like a, an element of like reality TV to it, you know? But it's, uh, if you're looking for something to watch on Netflix, which you might be because, uh, you know, this service is... In my opinion, it is it's been on a bit of a slide, which I allow, you know, I haven't canceled my subscription or anything like that, but, you know, I, I, increasing competition and I'm sure, like, difficulty filming stuff during COVID has not helped them out. Let's put it that way. Let's, uh, let's just take this red stew, man. Apart from that, haven't been up to too much. It's amazing, like, uh, so I was in that battleship tournament yesterday I don't know I don't know when this video comes out I think it'll it'll be two days ago for you I was in Ludwig's battleship tournament um, and this is not a knock on the organization of the tournament or anything you know it is a fun thing it's set up by streamers but it really does go like it, it shows you like not to say my time is more important or precious than anybody else's but it really shows like how your life changes when you have a kid because, like, uh, everybody else involved with it, I, I think they were, you know, not parents. Which, again, is not, like, I'm not making a moral judgment or anything. <clears throat> it's just, like, where, you know, where you're at in your life. Um, and uh, the the tournament ran way late. Like, it, it took, like, twice as long as expected. And that's only to finish day one. And now there's going to be, like, a day two as well. Which, I, spoilers, did not qualify for. I, I do want to say as well, if you watch the video... I might have thrown, but I did not throw deliberately. You gotta put some respect on Stan's name. Even though I hit all of his ships within like the first five turns, I didn't know that I hit five of his ships because he used subterfuge and placed them in such a way that it could have appeared that I hit as few as three. So, I, look, I've, I've made mistakes in, uh, in Battleship before. I've, I've made mistakes in every video game I've ever played, without a doubt. Um, and including that one. However, that was like, you know, well played. Let me just say that. Regardless, just put some respect on Stans' name. That's all I'm trying to say. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not against it, I guess. Why not? I took, did I take the Polaroid? Did we, no, we haven't even fought them. We haven't even fought mom yet. What a strange run so far. Anyway, um, but it just goes to show you like, you know, in, in my pre-child days, occasionally, you know, you'd have streams that go a little late. Occasionally, you'd have streams that go very late. And it was just fun. You're like, what's the big deal? It's just a little late. That stream, I ended up streaming like a, a, an hour and 40 minutes past my normal end time. And it like screwed my whole day up. <laughs> my wife streams after me. Uh, so like she had to start her stream late. I got to my baby time late. I didn't get to go on a walk with the baby. Instead, I just, you know, had to like, it was feeding her the food. Like, go, 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 go. Okay, you know, if you think you're the only one going to bed, you're in for a surprise, my little sleepy head. The cow let out a dreamy moo that says, go to sleep, honey. We love you. The dog and cat cuddle up and dim the light. They whisper sweet dreams, 99 and sleep tight. Mommy ladybug tucks her bitty bugs in just right. She whispers good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Mommies and daddies go to sleep too. They wake up rested and ready to tickle you. So if you think you're, uh, so going to sleep is not just for you. Everyone everywhere goes to sleep too. You know, you get the idea. Sorry, that was just this, uh, a, a non-subtle dad flex that I, yeah, I've been reading the books. I've been reading the books. Hey, zookeeper, flip the flap. What's that? A scratchy elephant. Feeding time, flip the flap. What's that? A silky penguin. Take a nap, flip the flap, what's that? A fluffy panda. Crazy creatures, flip the flap, what's that? A scaly snake. Easiest reroll of my life. Oh, baby. <laughs> this is a really good couple of rooms there. Um, and yeah, it, again, it's not a knock on the organization, but it was like, I was... I was like, man, it's crazy how, like, you know, you, you, you sometimes forget you got such a delicate balance, you know, between, like... Your your home life and your uh, 
in your professional life. And just one thing going like slightly off like that. I, I give a lot of credit to Kate. She was not upset, which is nice. And then on top of that, she was like, yeah, it happens. Don't worry about it. You know, I think that's that's kind of the foundation of, of making sure stuff like that is is not catastrophic for sure. But it really does like it, it throws you off for sure. I was happy to be a part of it, though. Wish I'd made it to day two, but uh, it happens. OK, you take the negative. Hey, hey, I can't be the best player of every single game that I play. <laughs> I can't be the second best player of every single game I play. I can't be the 432nd best player of every game I play. But yeah, it was cool to be a part of, and you know, it it it, it feels it it really for me is like uh, it's weird after having not done like almost. I mean, there was really like seven years where like. I didn't collaborate with, like, anybody outside of, like, our bubble, you know, on the... Ooh, cracked key, look at that. Uh, r related to the uh, the NLSS. Um, now, occasionally, I'm, I'm getting invited to, you know, cool kid streamer stuff. And uh, you know what it feels like a little bit? It's, it's, it's nice, don't get me wrong. But I do sometimes also feel... Like, um, when in a boy band, they have, like, uh, you know, four hip, you know, broadly appealing singers. Like, they got, you know, the leader, the bad boy, the one with the ponytail, uh, the, the Christian one, you know? And then they, then they have, like, one guy who's, like, 37 years old in a group full of 21-year-olds who has, like, uh... A, a, a little bit of a double chin and a goatee and is like, I'm the one who rents the cars because the other guys aren't allowed and they let me sing on the songs on occasion. You know, that that's kind of how I feel. <laughs> Not in a bad way, but uh, I'm like, oh man, I, I feel like... Uh, I'm like the elder statesman, you know? If you, if there was a parody boy band show on MTV in the early 2000s. It was called Together. You plus me, it doesn't equal us. I guess I didn't know my calculus. And uh, they, they lampooned this very idea. Chris Farley's brother, Steve Farley. Why not? Played, uh, you know, the, the middle-aged guy in a boy band consisting largely of early 20s. Uh, like heartthrobs. It's got me feeling kind of like, uh, like Steve Farley. Not in a bad way, you know. What are you going to do? You're, you, I mean, you're only as old as you feel. And by the way, Germa, I think, and I know this because chat tells me way too much about Germa, which is like, I'm, it's not a knock on him. It's just a, it's one of those things where I'm like, I've only spoken with this guy like in passing a couple of times, despite my best efforts. If you, if you see this clip, Germa, just follow me on Twitter. We can get up with some banter. It'll be fine. It's no pressure, man. Anyway, plus who knows, I, 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 next time I'm passing through Vegas, uh, don't listen to this part, one of my uh, least well-liked uh, cities and travel destinations on Earth. Um, we, we, could gr we could go to Gordon Ramsay's Burger Restaurant or say because it's got no vowels in the name. But I'm like, I, I should not know this much about somebody who, you know, I have not learned it from them, like straight from the horse's mouth. It's it's come from chat instead, which is kind of weird. It's like, I, I know too much about this person. <laughs> and it's it feels like it's ill-gotten information, which is obviously not true. But anyway, he's older than me. But I, I think it just goes to show you, you know, like having kids, it changes where you're at, like mentally for sure, because your, your priorities change, right? Like I, I have friends who had kids, uh, when they were, I think the youngest was probably like 22. And I, that's not even that uh, young. I mean, it, 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 having had my first child when I was 32, 22 seems insane. But, you know, obviously there's people out there that are having kids younger than that. Um, even on purpose, to be quite frank. I mean, some of the families on TLC, you're like, they must have been... If you want to have 14 kids and get your own TLC show, you gotta make use of the maximum amount of time you have available. 
it's just the reality of the situation, right? Um, and that guy, you know, at, at 22, my friend, he instantly went from like 22 to 37 overnight, which is, again, you, you might take it as like a negative, it's the exact opposite. Like, that's the responsible thing to do. That's what you gotta do when you're... When, when your own self-interest is no longer, uh, you know, your, your predominant goal in life. <laughs> I don't know where, like, th this run has come together so fast. I thought I had, like, hours and hours of banter left. I'm realizing, like, I'm actually almost done. <laughs> Who would have thought, like... We, I think we made it through the mom fight at like 26 minutes, and now at 30 minutes and 11 seconds, we're on the, uh, we're on the dark room. Bloody Gust is like almost good enough. Magic Mush, oh my god. That's incredible. Um, I think we could definitely take Sack Dagger as well. I mean, Sack Dagger basically we got for free. We did lose Reds, too. I, I thought, naively, there was, like, a realistic chance we could keep it going. Well, what a, what a run. You know, right, right from the randomizer onwards, it became pretty clear this one was going to be uh, A-OK, -okay, I'd say. Especially, you know, the, the first floor did us some favors, <laughs> without a doubt. Uh, a range upgrade. Not, not what I want from Aura, but uh, a, a great item, nonetheless. Yeah, it's a pretty good setup. I gotta say, like, this is... I love an Isaac run where, like... I mean, I, I don't dislike an Isaac run where you gotta dodge well to win. Like, a, a really fun, tainted lost run is, like, you know, it, it's hard to beat. In terms of uh, viewer experience and, and spike in your, uh, your heart rate as well. Um, but I love a run where just, like, on the first floor... There's a little thread, and if you keep pulling it, like, the whole sweater unravels. This was, uh... This was that kind of run where basically immediately it was like, as as soon as we got teleported to that angel deal, I was pretty confident that this run was over, and it just you know became a, a lesson in uh, making sure. Also, you know that maybe there's a metaphor here somewhere. Like, look at we we spent half of the time in this run basically on the first two floors. Well, we like a third of the time, but still. We spend a third of the time setting things up in, like, the, the first eighth of the game, and, uh, you know, it paid outrageous dividends. Do not do a victory lap. <laughs> and we got a streak of one again. How about that? Nice, non-zany, just regular run. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitch as well. Twitch.tv slash Northern Line. We play lots of fun stuff over there. I'll see you next time. See you then.